Hi, this is Brad Linder with Moby Puting, and I want to show you a quick application here called Itching Thumb. And it has a kind of funny name, but it's a, it's a pretty nifty way to uh, interact with Google Android, um, similar in some ways to what you would do with a uh, Palm Pre or a WebOS uh, phone. So it's basically, it's a replacement for the home screen uh, launcher, or not the home screen launcher, but the button that uh, brings up the home screen. And so when you press it once, it just takes you to the home screen. So if, say you're in the web browser, it'll still take you to the home screen. But if you double tap it, it'll bring up a list of running applications that you can scroll through. So it's sort of an alternative to the tap and hold, uh, which shows you recent. It actually shows you running applications. And so say I want to go to the Android market, it's already running in the background, there we go. Tap it again, let's go to uh, the Beyond Pod Media Manager uh, or uh, Podcast Manager. Um, now, let's say I want to close that application. I can tap and hold and activate, kill, uninstall, or save snapshot. Let's go ahead and kill it. And now it's no longer there. Now, you notice when I swipe across the bottom, we also get sort of gestures here. And that's because I can now reopen that application by drawing a B. And that's because I've set a gesture for beyond pod with a B. Or likewise, double tap, M brings up Google Maps. And this should take us home. This brings us back. There we go. Um, in order to create a shortcut, all you have to do is tap on a running application. Oops, I tapped too long. And drag it down. You get a box here where you can create a gesture. So let's say H for home. And now anytime I type H, it should take us to the home screen. Uh, there's a couple of different settings that you can adjust here. Come on. It works much better when you're holding it in your hand, I have to say. There we go. Um, so for example, when you pull it up from a menu right now, I have sort of this carousel view but you can change that by going into Preferences um, and change Style. So you can do Flat. There we go. So we've got a flat view here. or you can change to condense. Which gives you a view that's sort of like this. Honestly, I find this one's a little bit harder to go through. Um, so I prefer carousel or flat. Now you can also change the inertia to low, medium, or high. In high, it sort of slow, uh, zips through them very quickly. Um, so I prefer not to use that, but lower medium seem about right to me. Um, the gesture library, you can see a list of gestures that you've created. Uh, you can disable gestures if you don't want to use that just by unchecking there. And you can do high quality previews or low quality previews. Um, it's only available in high quality if you're a root uh, user, which I happen to have root access on this phone, but you should be able to get low quality previews anyway. Um, you can also change uh, how fast a double click action takes place. I might need to adjust that. As you saw, I tried a couple of times and it didn't register properly. Um, and you can disable the double clicking. So there you go, that's a, a quick look at the Itching Thumb application launcher, or uh, task switcher. And uh, this is Brad Linder for Mobile Puting.